Hello, I'm Pat O'Hare, Chief Market Analyst for Briefing.com. Today is Wednesday, July 16th. This morning's Consumer Price Index report delivered a negative surprise to the market. Total CPI jumped 1.1% for May and is up 5% year over year, its highest reading since 1991. Core CPI, which excludes food and energy, jumped three-tenths of 1% and is up 2.4% year-over-year versus 2.3% seen in May. Energy and food prices, not surprisingly, were the main drivers of total CPI. The core number, meanwhile, picked up due to larger increases in the indexes for shelter and tobacco and smoking products, as well as an upturn in the apparel index. Notwithstanding the Fed's chairman's observations Tuesday that inflation is likely to move higher temporarily, the market understandably reacted in a negative manner to the consumer inflation report. It is not good news. We're still not seeing a strong pass-through of the inflation seen at the wholesale level, yet the core trend year-over-year year is moving in the wrong direction for the jittery market. In other economic news, industrial production bounced back nicely in June. Following a two-tenths of one percent decline in May, industrial production increased five-tenths of one percent in June. That was well ahead of the 0.1 percent consensus estimate. As expected, there was a bounce back in the utilities component. The latter declined 2.1 percent in May, but was up by the same amount in June. The mining component also saw a big increase, registering a 1.1 percent jump in June versus a 0.3 percent increase in May. The core manufacturing component increased two-tenths of one percent, following a one-tenths of one percent decline in May. The rebound there stemmed in large part from a 5.4 percent increase in the output of motor vehicles and parts as activity resumed at plants that have been idle during the American Axle strike. Cynics will undoubtedly jump on the idea that manufacturing output declined 0.1 percent, excluding motor vehicles and parts. Yet the motor vehicles and parts contribution counts here just as it did when it acted as a drag on industrial production during the strike period. Industrial production is up 0.3 percent year over year. That increase is reflective of a weaker economic climate, yet rates as good economic news given the headwinds the economy has faced in that time. I'm Pat O'Hare for Briefing.com. Thanks for listening.